Every mortuary complex of the Old Kingdom consists of the pyramid and then a series of temples. At the eastern edge, a valley temple, and then connecting to it a long causeway heading westwards back towards the pyramid and ending in the pyramid temple. We are looking at Khufu's pyramid temple. And this reconstruction is somewhat conjectural, since not much remained when the original excavators came to clear this part of the Giza necropolis. In fact, just the basalt flooring is all that you can see at the site today. Nevertheless, we can reconstruct most of the temple based on remains of emplacements for columns and the original plan based on similar Old Kingdom monuments. So we are looking now at a pillared courtyard with the basalt flooring, and then a series of chambers would lead westwards back towards the pyramid itself. Building a reconstruction like this raises many questions. What exactly took place in this courtyard? Was the burial ceremony enacted here? How many members of the royal family were present? How many priests? Where were the ordinary Egyptians? Were they allowed anywhere near the necropolis and the royal mortuary complex at all? How many statues were set up in the niches around this courtyard? Did Khufu in fact have a big and developed statue program? The debate rages on on these and many other questions, such as the decoration on the walls. Some of the decorated fragments were removed in antiquity and reused during the Middle Kingdom further to the south at a site known as Lisht. We're looking now westwards with the pyramid towering behind and a series of rooms behind this courtyard that would end in a sanctuary or holy of holies. What was back in the most further nether regions of this area is also a matter of conjecture. A statue of the king, a false door, a number of stele. We won't know the answers to these questions until we can study more of the mortuary complexes from the Old Kingdom.